Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're creating a line art floral bouquet entirely in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. We actually only use one brush for this. It's my free mono weight brush and you can pick it up when you become a free Every Tuesday email subscriber. As always, the color palette for this project is entirely free. Just tap on the link in the video description and you can download and install it. For our watercolor elements and the lettering, we're using brushes from my watercolor color lettering brush set, but you can use any brushes that you would like. So I'm going to create a brand new document that is screen sized and then we can get started. Okay, I've got my screen sized document. I'm going to label my first layer violets. And for our violets, we're going to start off by drawing an oval. And then off of our oval, we're going to draw our first petal to the left. I'm going to keep this kind of a shaky line so it feels a little more organic. I'm going to create my next petal over to the left. It's going to kind of look like a bow after this. Our top petal is going to kind of connect between these two. Our fourth petal is going to start out behind our first petal and then work its way straight up to the center. And then our last one is going to sit right between these last two petals. Okay, and then we're going to add in some line details. And these are going to vary in length and these are going to have that shaky feel to it as well. Okay, let me move this further towards the center. And we're going to add in another one right next to it. So I'm going to draw one right here, another oval. This one, our left petal is going to be longer than our right petal. So it kind of looks like the flower's turned a little bit. So our right petal is going to be shorter. Same exact thing as before with our top petal and our other two petals. Okay, we're going to draw our stems down. So I'm going to draw the stem this way and then this one's going to come straight down like this. And I wanna make sure that they intersect. That way we can tie them all together at the end. Let me move this a little more towards the center. So our next floral elements are just going to be some general simple flowers just to add a little more variety besides just having violets here. So I'm going to label this one simple flowers. And for our simple flowers, we're just going to draw a really basic petal shape. So it's a pointed oval and then draw that stem down. I'm going to draw a bud right in the middle. For the bud, we're going to have a curved line going from the left side to the right side, and then from right in the middle of this curve, we're going to draw a line up to the right side, and then bring your stem down. And then for the last one, we're going to make it facing downward just to add a little more variety. So we'll create our first petal pointing downward, and then the other two right next to it. And for this stem, it's gonna come up and then down. Okay, I'm going to straighten these up just a little bit. All right, so our next flowers are going to be our thistle. So create a brand new layer, label this one thistle. So for our thistle, we're going to draw some branches to start. So I'm going to come up from the bottom and I'm going to put these right in here. And it's okay for your stems to cross, but you just don't wanna put elements on top of existing elements, especially petals. Because this is line art, it can get confusing really fast with a lot of lines. So just be aware of that as you're drawing. You don't wanna intersect any large elements that are already existing. So for our thistle, we're going to draw an oval, put some lines inside of that oval, and then give it little petals at the very top. Okay, and then just to fill it out, we're going to add in some really simple leaves. This also mimics the shape of the little petals up at the top of them. Okay, create a brand new layer. Now we're going to add in some lavender. So label this one lavender. For your lavender, you're actually going to do the exact same shape that we just drew on top of our thistle. So I usually do about three or four of these petals and we want these to be in a line. So I'll pretend I've got one that's poking out here. And then just draw a line connecting each little cluster. And then the way this one's going, it looks like it would come out about here. So I'll draw this down. And I'm going to put in like four or five of these. Okay. 
Okay, the last thing that we have to add in here are some willow eucalyptus just to fill everything out. So I'm going to create a brand new layer, label this one willow eucalyptus. If you caught last week's tutorial, we've actually already drawn these before, but this time they're line art, so they're going to be much simpler. So what we're going to do is draw out the branches first. And if you saw that tutorial, you already know that the branches are curved in shape. So I'm going to add one right here and another one here and then add a couple over here. So for the leaves on these, they're just going to be pointy and long. And sometimes there's a couple together, sometimes they're spaced apart, and sometimes they go in different directions, but generally they're all kind of facing in an upward motion following our branch shape. Okay, so let's finish it all off by tying a string around our bouquet. So I'm just going to do kind of a messy string with a messy bow. Select everything, group it together, call this bouquet. And I'm just going to scale this down a little bit because it's feeling a little large. All right, that looks good. So all we have left to do is to add in our background details. So I'm going to create a brand new layer, drag this underneath the bouquet layer, label this one pink. And we're going to grab our pink color. I'm in my watercolor lettering brush set. I'm going to grab my round paintbrush for illustration, draw a big circle and then fill it in. And you can see that watercolor texture showing through with this brush. And let me just move it over here a little bit. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, only this time I'm going to use yellow. So rename this yellow, grab my yellow, and draw another big circle off to the right and color it in. All right, I'm going to move this over just slightly. And if you'd like, you can add in some lettering. I'm going to add in some lettering, so I'm just going to create a brand new layer, label this lettering. I'm going to grab my black once again, so double tap where the black is to get true black. I'm going to grab my round paintbrush for lettering from this exact same brush set, and then just write out whatever phrase you would like. So that is how to create a floral line art bouquet entirely in Procreate. Once again, everything mentioned within this tutorial is right in the video description. So just tap in there and you can have access to everything. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out, and post it there. I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.